This is like an introduction to the history of Perth as a gateway for further study, really. Um, and you can go and visit the sites which you would not otherwise recognize if, if you were just walking around the town. Perth is extraordinarily well um, documented in some respects, but it's actually on the ground. There's very, very little. And um, for example, my, I, 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 one of the things that I, I discovered, which I hadn't realized before, was the shorelines um, and the extent, for example, of shipbuilding and those industries in Perth. I mean, in the 1830s, Perth was building an iron ship, um, steamships. So quite substantial beasts sizing that balance. There's a story to be told from the ships to the flax to rope making to materials, linen, um, right through then to the Industrial Revolution. And it, uh, Perth is an ideal place to study urban development, I think, because it's small enough that people know each other across different trades. And I think that really spins off into things like the factories and insurance, etc., that took place in the 19th century. The medieval core was so obvious against the river that it always struck me, so I think that actually drew me to But I was absolutely blown away, A, about learning about the Muses' Threnody, this incredible poem written so long ago, which in a way like we're doing, tries tried to capture the story of Perth and it helped inform this map and it felt like a stepping stone back into history um, knowing that this huge poem is there.